all these is, is murder a component of sharia law well there's an entire chapter on murder murder is condemned in sharia law but it depends on who non-believers uh non-believers again there's another uh it's all categories uh, what type of non-believer is it uh, acceptable to murder a non-believer under sharia law uh, just like that no no not as simple as that well how complex does it get um no, it's actually a lot simpler, but just not in that way. So if a Muslim becomes a non-believer, then okay. they get killed because like I, that. Right, and then so if a Muslim becomes a non-believer, but also isn't there a line in Sharia law that if a non-believer, the non-believer that converted the Muslim can also be murdered under Sharia law? Um, yes, because they are not directly uh, affecting anything uh, in the religion, but they're manipulating the Muslims, and that goes under another category of spreading immorality. Okay. Because converting people away from Islam is seen by Sharia law as spreading immorality on the earth. Okay. And if you do that on this planet, then the chosen ones, the Muslims, have to take care of that person. It's just very sophisticated. If I fall in love with a Muslim man, not gonna happen. Okay. What if I do? Uh, no. And no. he then says, you know what? I'm no. not going to be. I'm not going to be yeah. Muslim anymore. Um, I can be murdered and he can be murdered. Uh, no, you can't because that's just an exception. Spreading immorality? No. There's a big difference between you falling in love and him converting for, for you. He will get punished, not you. But if you were someone who had a channel, who had a TV station, and is bringing Muslims to Christianity, mm -hmm. then you would be targeted. Interesting. So not just a one-off issue. No, no. Uh, I can give you a, a name. For example, uh, Brother Rashid. I don't know if you've heard of Brother Rashid. Brother Rashid, uh, he is a uh, a Muslim who left Islam, became Christian, and he has a channel, and he has a uh, he had a program called Sual Jari, daring questions, and he comes from a very uh, well informed background, uh, not just any Muslim. No, he really studied Islam and he left. Uh, he is targeted day and night by extremists okay why so, because he's dragging muslims away okay so to me that obviously is a very clear differentiation between this religion and the other religion because i can convert from christianity to, to, to catholicism to judaism uh there's no fear you can See, just move and change can, a million times yeah, I, and there's no fear there's no rule there's you know there there's nothing bad that's going to happen yep, to yep. me for those conversions I and that's very important for people to understand but the same with islam if you convert it to islam there's no problem Two, but not out, right? <laughs> no, no. Yeah, converting into, easy, converting out of. And, and by the way, just for your viewers, I'm not here promoting Sharia law. I, I'm just no, explaining. Oh, yeah, let's, yeah we're just I'm talking about I'm, it. Yeah. We're talking about yeah. what you they do not, believe. You do not believe in Sharia law, no, no, so no, I no. want to make that super clear to you everybody can, that's, yeah, that's listening. Yeah. Um, but And I'm so happy that you're so willing to talk about this because Americans need to know this. Western society needs to know this. And I think, um, I don't know what the impetus is um, behind there being so many lies and an unwillingness to discuss um, the religion, but that, that actually scares me because, as I say, you need more speech. Speech, right so if we don't understand something we can talk about it there should be nothing that's above intellectual debate